Hey and welcome to our tutorial, today I will show you how to create this Opera logo inside PowerPoint and usually when you see me using PowerPoint that's because there is this shape merge function which is unfortunately missing in Microsoft Word. So let's get started, the right one is an image, the left one is logo created inside PowerPoint. So I will take this image, I will just copy it and paste it on the blank slide, I don't need any ideas. I will just you know position it into the center and I will start by drawing a new ellipse. So I will zoom in as much as I can in this small window like this and I will select insert shapes new shape be the oval and I will draw it in the almost same size as the as the shape itself so maybe like this and I will position it with my arrows and you know I cannot see anything so I will probably change the fill to no fill for for now and just try to make it as closely to the underlying shape as possible so maybe like this so this should be like a base shape I will copy paste it and move it to the same spot not the image but actually the new oval so the oval will be moved to the oh sorry it's not working today so the oval will be moved to the same spot i will resize it from the left side like this so it's touching this uh, area then i will resize it holding the control key on my keyboard so it's actually resizing from both sides like this you can see it's a little bit different on those spots i can either adjust the shape or i can just leave with this one I guess I'm I'm fine with this one. So I will copy paste this one more time. So copy paste this shape one more time and again move it to the same spot, resize it from the right side and again resize it on top and bottom by holding the control key on my keyboard to match the in inside shape. Then I will select home, select selection pane and for all those ovals it's important to set the fill to be some color and outline to be no outline. That's that's kind of important in the next steps of merging the shapes together. You know, maybe if you want to see those shapes better, it's still perfectly fine to set a little bit of transparency. So I can just set the more fill colors for the fill and increase the transparency just a little bit so I can see those individual shapes. I don't need to see the the over, uh, underlying picture. So I will start with this, like the big shape and the hole inside the shape, which is this one. And I will simply subtract this. So I'll select both shapes with the control key. In the format ribbon, I will select merge shapes and select subtract. So I'm getting this uh, like the big shape. Then I copy this shape one more time, move it to the same spot, hide the first one. And from this and this shape, I need an intersection. So I'll select merge shapes, intersect. You can see it, I get a little bit of a uh, hairline on the left side. So if I want, I can, you know, again, jump back and just move this shape, which is the this one, the big one more to the left side so there is no hairline in there and again use the intersection so select format merge shapes intersect now i don't have any kind of hairline on the left side which is probably better so i can move this picture to the right side and sample the colors for our fills and as you can see the gradients are being used but those are very simple gradients so i'll right click select format shape and for this shape, I want this to be a fill, to be a gradient fill, going from like this light gray color. So I'll sample this color. I'll probably keep the middle stop and sample the middle color. Then I will sample the bottom one color, which is this dark red, and I will get rid of this last stop and move this to the right. So this is the this is the gradient for the like the big shape, and for the small shape, I believe I can use the very same gradient except I will change the orientation, I will rotate it to 270 degrees. Maybe I can still try to sample those colors in case they are different. It seems to be just a little bit darker, so I can still sample the colors from the original logo. Yeah, that's right, those are a little bit darker. I believe the bottom one is actually a little bit lighter. So, so that's it. That's how you create an Opera logo in almost no time in PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.